for me in in seeing your heat um frequently it was like what is going on mm. like it was a curiosity of like man i don't understand why you're so upset mm -hmm. like over the littlest things walking home with a partner okay so walking home let's uh what does it mean what does that mean to you mm. walking home um, I have it that there's a coming back to source. Um, I call it the untangling process. The more that I go through this untangling process, um, the more that I tap into um, what I would call my source connection, which is like the heart and love and um the authenticness of who I am without all of the programs and, and systems that I am not aware of that run. So then that's your definition of walking home. Yeah, I suppose so. I would say that it is probably the most challenging thing to do because it like uproots all of the things especially in a partnership like an intimate partnership like pokes at every nook and cranny for <laughs> for me to look at so i would say that it's probably the most challenging way to go and also possibly the quickest if i can look at everything and there's definitely iterations of looking at everything and and sometimes not and sometimes just being in the program of whatever it is in that moment. Well, sometimes my observance of you in your walking home process is sometimes it's not a right now thing. Sometimes it's just a seed planting. Yes. For me supporting you. It's like, oh, okay, not ready yet. We'll just keep looking this as those micro moments come up. Yeah. And, and eventually see how to navigate that turns into a reflection. Mm -hmm. somewhere down the line mm -hmm. it's like the seed like you said the seed's been planted and now it has me view it a different way mm -hmm. randomly with you it's brought awareness yeah then to that piece of me that i maybe wasn't fully aware of prior to which is why it's the most challenging mm -hmm. because all the pieces are available for you to poke at yeah, but that's kind of life, hey, of um, somebody peering into somebody else's world. And it's obvious, typically, of mm. the stuff that's going on. But I like to say that everybody has their own door to open. The visualization of that door is it's got only one side that has a doorknob. Mm -hmm. Nobody can open that for you. It's mm -hmm. like you've got to open it up yourself. And so in partnership, it's a delicate balance to be like, can't you just do the thing or change the thing? It's so obvious over here. And it doesn't work that Can't way. Can't you just open the fucking door already? <laughs> just open the door. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's mm -hmm. doesn't it doesn't work that way. And so there's a a balance as a partner to um navigate with and support my servants of it and it's so great to you know like there's certain things that we've navigated in our relationship that we can look back on and go oh right okay well these are the things we've you know the hoops that we went through mm -hmm. the doors that we open for one another and for ourselves um but it would seem in that past looking observation that um part of this path that must be spoken about is the triggering of one another <laughs> and so there's a, a a thought process that you know um if there wasn't something to look at within yourself then um you'd be kind of neutral about things 
and there's yes an opportunity to look at something if you you've got what we would call a trigger around or if there's like some heat around it mm -hmm. or it brings up something that you were resisting or um what would you add to that well to describe it, it just reminds me of the the thing you shared with me yesterday the swami vivekananda and what he said mm -hmm. and i don't remember the exact words you probably do better when a man is perfect, he sees perfection in others. When he sees imperfection, it is his own mind projecting itself. So the same is with triggers in my mind. Mm -hmm. It's like when you're triggered, it's your trigger. Yeah. <laughs> it's you that is hearing or seeing something that hits, I would say, part of your belief system or, or a program or whatever. But it's something inside you that now you've identified with in some way, or I've identified with in some way, that now has me be respond back to you in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And the same idea. Yeah. It's like seeing the imperfection is because the imperfections within, not necessarily without, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that's, mm -hmm. that was a good example of that. Mm -hmm when we get into these rootier matters, the matters that are like, I, when I say rootier, it's like, there's, I always envision like nature, there's like a tap root that we're um, kind of mining and pulling out. Mm -hmm. And um, it gets, you know, kind of defined as we pull back the layers of the soil, right? How, how, or the leaves even to get to the soil. Yeah, to get to the soil. You want to use the nature analogy, yeah. Yeah, and um, and so we don't really know what what lives under there, and how you know we, we have no idea, and um, and it's messy. Like you're you're in the soil, <laughs> you're in the leaves, you're in the shit, you're in the shit, <laughs> you're yeah. But that's so. how the lotus blooms is through the shit. Yeah, and so it's kind of how it kind of how it's meant to be yeah and so as a woman walking with you um there's definitely been some times when i have to um um unpack my own um like almost submissiveness mm. or you know like my my instinct to back away in times when you might be a little more heated more mm -hmm. you know hot more fiery to hold ground in my stand or whatever we might be grappling whatever's with. in the moment <laughs> yeah yeah and it it um in my experience of going through some of these moments in partnership um because it's got to be it's got to be spoken like there's going to be fucking heat there can be yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely going to happen somewhere along yeah. in this journey. There's going to be a heat on both sides. Curious how it is for you when I'm heated. Um, I would say it was definitely more so in the beginning of our journeys together that that would show well, up. Yeah, way more. Yeah, yeah, it was for me in in seeing your heat. Um, frequently, it was like, what is going on? Mm. Like it was a curiosity of like. Man, I don't understand why you're so upset. Mm -hmm. Like over the littlest things is what I felt they were. Yeah. In the moment, obviously they weren't for you. Yeah. But, but that's how it felt for me. It's like, why are we so upset about this little? And you're like yelling. <laughs> so then, it was for for me, I would say, the beauty was where I was at is at least that I could stay calm often, not always, mm -hmm. but often I could stay calm which then diffuses the situation a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. And then if I got heated too. So it started with we've like been a, there too. <laughs> what's up? Why? Are, why? Yeah, the initial response is curiosity and like, what the hell is happening? Um, was there like, did I do something wrong? Like, was there? I'm sure there was moments, moments of, that, of that. But initially, I don't feel like I felt that like in the early days of our relationship. I don't, um, I don't feel like I felt like I did things like, I felt our relationship was too new for me to fuck it up, <laughs> <laughs> for lack of better words. <laughs> it's like the, there was still the new energy and all that aspect yeah. where it's like things kind of get like, oh, oh, well, it's okay because 
you know what I mean? We had this beautiful connection. You're like, we're so new, it can't possibly be me. <laughs> kind of, without it being that ego. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, it was, it was kind of more in that, like I didn't feel that as much until we get got into the deeper layers. I have it as the relationship continued and and, and we really started diving into some of these things. And unearthing that taproot. Mm-hmm. And then there was times where it definitely is like, what the fuck did I do now? Mm-hmm. It was like, and then that's all I would say. And that's I, something to look at. Yeah, what I've realized. To, that's why I say about the triggering of like, yeah, we trigger now each other in these moments. Yes. And what yeah. I realized in that was that it was never really you. It was always something from my past, from my childhood that has been implanted in me or whatever, programmed in through my upbringing that had me respond a certain way. Mm -hmm. And and then now you bringing it back to my attention allows me to unravel or untangle that belief, idea, whatever that I had of myself. So then it turns into more of a, Eventually, the suffering is a good thing. <laughs> it never feels that way in the moment, but yeah. truly, the suffering is is where all the magic is in that regard, so that we can look at those things. Was there ever a like an aha moment for you? In what like, in this triggering? These choose triggering... the choose the moment, because <laughs> I feel like there's times, there's still times where there's aha moments based on our relationship Mm -hmm. we're both a lot calmer and more community communicative (laughs) if i could speak properly (laughs) um in in everything so it's not as hard to like when the heat's there it's harder to be with my own trigger Mm -hmm. because there's heat now that we don't get disturbed as easily by things it's easier to be with the whatever's showing up in the moment to like talk it out mm-hmm. in the moment instead of having to wait a month or a year or whatever it is before that seed that's been planted now can can even be rediscovered again. Yeah, and um, in those moments for me, I found that um, developing communication around like just speaking up with what's so this is not a good moment i am fucking hot (laughs) you know um and and just acknowledging that yeah yeah because those are moments like in an old world of mine would have been like you're uncoachable you're you're Mm -hmm. not gonna move you're a fucking rock you're staying where you are Mm -hmm. right now that's the whole kind of how we started this conversation of like you're trying to tell me what to do or what the same idea it's Mm -hmm. like (laughs) screw you. I don't need to look at shit. <laughs> it's your fucking problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that would have definitely been an old way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like in that, I can remember there was definitely moments where um, I've like, again, it's always great. We can look back on the past, but there were fucking moments that were so sticky and you would be in that, you know, like, no, I'm fucking solid. It's you. It's all, you know, and I'd be like, no, it's not, but you can't, you can't see it at this moment. Mm-hmm. And so in that, I, I discovered that it didn't matter what I said. Um, it had to, it had to actually be your awareness that you saw. Yeah, always. And so there was like frustration on my part because, mm-hmm. you know, like what's coming through to me is, is people may think that those situations are gaslighty Mm -hmm. that's what's coming is like gaslight um and we use and we kind of toss this phrase around really fucking easily lately for sure yeah yeah and but there's a there's a beauty that i walked through that gaslighting kind of aspect of well but wait a second you know like to me it's almost dismissive depending on like Mm -hmm. There's there's beauty. There's in times where out. gaslighting can is manipulative. Yeah, 
and, and there's and, times where it's unconscious and and we're <laughs> slippery as humans yes, right yes. and and so there's beauty in actually being able to kind of tease like oh that kind of sounds gaslighty you know and and we're i would say um there are certain subjects that we're newly able to just be teasily like that mm, fair to be so, oh, that's a little gaslighty like i see what you're doing there you little slippery sucker yeah that's um, what i mean we don't have any like we don't have near the the attachment heat. yeah to our own ideologies or our own but there was a time or anything like that yeah, there was a, course, time was a time where i could see in another perspective or a lifeline or something mm -hmm. like that or even you know just a, another woman peering in and going ah, that guy's a gaslighter you gotta let him go it, that's that happens in mm -hmm. a lot of female worlds well this is this is the whole like Again, and you're coming back to the beginning of the question of like, this is why relationships test us. Mm -hmm. This this is like the especially intimate relationships. Yeah. Because it's going to poke at every aspect that we believe we are. Yeah. And if we have attachment to certain ways of being, yeah, it could feel gaslighting. Yeah. And it could be gaslighting. It could be very but, much so. But like, if a person believes like that's who they are, they're kind of stuck there. And on the other side, in partnership, because we're focusing this conversation mm -hmm. on partnership, um, what I discovered is there's beauty in letting it go. Like, um, actually, this is a beautiful kind of segue into like mm -hmm. what actually anchors us to know that there's something bigger than this fucked up moment we're going through. <laughs>